First thing I want to say, man, is uh, to all you Eagles fans that want to, uh, you know, pick against the Eagles, against the team that's most hated of all, you know, to any Eagles fans that want to downplay this team's potential and what we can be, not wanting to uh, accept the fact that the, the, the four-game skid that we were in was not the real Eagles team that this team can be, downplaying our potential. You know, for any of you Eagles fans out there that are like that, you need to go, man. I'm just being honest, man, because I'm tired of hearing Eagles fans, you know, doubting this team, picking against this team, especially against the Cowboys. Are you kidding me? Whatever, man, I ain't got time for you no more. But with that being said, man, don't start raising, you know, waving your pom-poms now and everything that we're starting to turn shit around. You know, keep your pom-poms, you know, in your little closet or, you know, you know, waving for another team. Because it's just, it just makes me sick as an Eagles fan to see another Eagles, so Eagles fan doing this type of shit just because we're in a little slump. Whatever, man. What? Whatever. But with that being said, man, um, one thing I want to talk about before I talk about the game is the fact that uh, Rob Ryan, you know, now, I, I love Buddy Ryan for obvious reasons. Buddy Ryan's a man. Um, I like Rex Ryan. But Rob Ryan, man, I, I lost what respect I had for you after uh, we sign a couple players and you want to start running your mouth for no damn reason, calling us the all-hype team. And, uh, you know, that little bit of respect I had went out the window, went out the door. Um, and I thought it was very comical, very funny and entertaining for me, along with all the other Eagles fans, to uh, see your face throughout the game, man. You just – our defense – or, well – our offense, bitch smacked your defense around, man. So <laughs> it was, it was, it was comical. Loved every minute of it. You get what you deserve, you fucking asshole. But anyway, uh, about the game, man. I think uh, the key, the number one key to the game last night was the fact that Brent Selleck went back to his old face mask. Did anybody notice that? That was no. Okay. <laughs> no, but for real though, um, Brent Selleck did have a hell of a game last night. Like seven catches, 94 yards, and a touchdown. You know, he was very involved, man. And I like, I like that, man. He was the leading receiver last night. Um, so it was good, man. It was good. It was a good game. He had a hell of a game. Um, the last two games against the Redskins and the Cowboys, Brent Selleck's been more involved, and we won both. Coincidence, I don't know. It's the face mask. But <laughs> anyway, Shady, 185 yards, two touchdowns on the ground. And now, Cowboys had the number four, going into the game, had the number four rushing defense. But we had the number one rushing offense, man. So. Not only did Shady have 185 yards on the ground, Vic had another 50. And Ronnie Brown, he only had four yards, but that's 239 yards. Two touchdowns on the ground against the number four ranked rushing defense. It's pretty good, man. Pretty good. So, um, and was it me, too, like, to see Des Bryant... <laughs> To just get like throwing a fit towards the end of the game it was pretty awesome. Love that. And uh, you know, Des Bryant, Jason Witten, and the the, the 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 rookie kid, the running back Murray, I think. Didn't hear nothing from any of them last night. And if it wasn't for Robinson having that one touchdown. You guys, would, and it was a 70-yard touchdown. Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, a little bit 
upset about giving up that one pass, that one play that would have gave us a shutout if we would have prevented that. You know, but this number 81 PO want to look like motherfucker wants to. I mean, it was a good play. It was. I'll give it to him. I just wish we could add the shutout, but I'm not going to be greedy. I'll take 34 7. But, uh, you know, time of possession, man, was the biggest and most impressive stat for me, man. 42 minutes. 42 minutes. Zero turnovers. 42 minutes. Um, but, hey. But you notice it's a trend, though. Like, the last two games against division opponents, Redskins and then the Cowboys. Last night we had 42 minutes time of possession. Against the Redskins we had 38 minutes time of possession. It's not the same type of offense that, that uh, you know, fast break offense like we're used to seeing the last couple of years, man. We're actually controlling the clock, keeping the ball on the ground a whole lot more. It's a whole lot more balanced offense. Um you know, with Shady running the ball and, and old Vic too. But, uh, you know, it's a whole hell of a lot more balanced offense. We're able to control the clock. Control the clock. You keep the ball in our hands. You keep the ball out of the other team's hands. Therefore, it limits their chances to scoring unless, you know. <laughs> I mean, I like it. I like it a lot better than the fast break offense is a lot more exciting, I guess. But I, I prefer this kind of offense. Um, and, you know, 42 minutes last night, like I said, 38 minutes against the Cowboys, um, the Redskins. Um, so that's that's a plus. And then also the turnover battle, the last two games, the Cowboys and Redskins, we've won 5-2. to two. And, of course, the two turnovers we've ha- had was against the Redskins. But us forcing five turnovers in the last two games, it's been pretty, pretty good, man. So that's good. Um I'm liking it, man. I'm liking where where this team is was going, man. And I and I, and I could, you know, that fourth quarter against the Bills, that's when you started to feel it turn around, man. And it started to, you know, look like things were getting better, man. So things are on the up and up, man. So it's still one game at a time. It's still, uh, you know, we're we're digging ourselves out slowly but surely, man. We just gotta keep that momentum going. Monday night next week. Chicago, we can do it, man. We can do it. And I've been having, I'm telling everybody, man, don't expect this team to keep playing the way they were. It will get turned around. And so far, so far to two games and a quarter, this team has looked a whole lot different and a whole lot better, man. 54 to 20, we have outscored the Giants, I mean, um, the Redskins and Cowboys, 54 to 20 in the last two games. So, yeah, just look at the numbers, man. The numbers don't lie. Plus, this team is playing a whole with a whole lot more confidence. Just listen to them talk, man. Their interviews, press conferences. Just listen to them. They're getting that confidence back, that that little swagger, you know. It's coming. I'm telling you, man. Once this team fully clicks. We're going to be this, – this, the last night was the way this team should have been playing all year long. Last night was – yeah. And if we were playing like this all year long, maybe one loss. Maybe. But we can't talk about what ifs and should have and all that shit. Because it is what it is now. Let's just hope it stays this way from this point on. But, Yeah. That being said, man, like I said, you fucking fake-ass Eagles fans, keep your pom-poms in your closet. If you don't take them out, take them out for another team, because I don't have time for you. That being said, man, peace. I'm feeling good, man. Turning it around. Season's getting turned around. Peace. Fuck you, Rob Ryan. Oh, real quick. A couple shout-outs to a couple cow- Cowboys fans that I do have respect for. You know, Lizzie Free, j Wad, Rachel, um, Mosh. He's a little quirky, you know, whatever, but I like Mosh. Fucking metal, man. <laughs> but anyway, peace. Go, birds. We're turning it around. You bitches better start recognizing that. <laughs>